When we share the gospel, we are helping individuals bind themselves to Jesus Christ through covenants and ordinances. We invite you to ask the Lord what He would have you do to help those you lead engage in the wonderful work of sharing the gospel through loving, sharing, and inviting. Let's look at a video that captures a few of the ways that members have felt inspired to act upon these principles. Oh, when I joined the church, it was so beautiful. And I wanted to share that joy with everyone, everyone on my path. But I had this really close friend by, and I really wanted her to share in this joy that I feel. She did come join me for a few lessons, but um, she wasn't really interested. Uh, and I didn't want to push either. Um, so, but we kept in touch. It never disrupted our friendship. Every opportunity we are together, I talk about church, and she will share also her own church stories with me. And then just about six months ago, I got a phone call from her, and the first thing she said to me was, could you tell me where to find your church in my location? I'm like, oh, sure, sure, I can do that. <laughs> I was so excited. Hace varios años, desde que yo me conocía a Lorenzo, porque trabajábamos juntos en una caballeriza. Entonces yo sabía que él estaba buscando más, que él no estaba tan feliz como él quisiera ser. Siempre había dentro de mí algo que, que me decía que Dios existía. Y dijo, oye, Randy, ¿eres tú cristiano? Y yo le dije que sí. Me dijo, ¿Quieres una Biblia en español? Y yo acepté con gusto. Pensaba que aprovechar de esa oportunidad de también darle el libro de Mormón. Yo sentí que realmente era un libro que hablaba de Dios también. Pienso que fue el inicio de algo maravilloso en mi vida. Tuve una amiga que era, que era una de mis mejores amigas durante toda la secundaria. Y un día le invité a ir a el campamento de las niñas y en ese momento yo sentí uf, el amor de Dios para esa niña. I ended up texting a friend that I hadn't spoken to in several years, wishing him a happy birthday. And he responded back and said, well, thank you. You're never going to believe what? He goes, I'm getting baptized over General Conference weekend. And it, it totally blew me away. We had, you know, several meaningful discussions on why he had decided to get baptized. And he said, well, one of them was just the experiences I had with members of the church growing up, specifically you and your family. Just a couple of weeks ago, um, really close to conference time, she actually took that decision to enter the waters of baptism with her son. That was the most joyous day of my life. I didn't see it coming. I wasn't expecting it. But Heavenly Father and His Son, Jesus Christ, made it possible. In fact, what that has taught me is that we should just honor the Lord's commandments. Just go ahead and sow the seed. Share the gospel. It doesn't matter. If you think people are not listening, don't be discouraged. Ask is to share, and the Lord's work is to complete. Examples like these remind me that as we love, share, and invite, we are doing what Jesus Christ did when He was on the earth. He shared His life and His love. He invited all to come to Him. When we love, share, and invite, we can truly be His emissaries.